Good evening. Welcome to Neuropath Reset Yourself Past the Pandemic. Thank you again for joining me tonight. Thank you for giving me your time. For those that are joining, please add some likes, some happy faces. Let me know where you're from. Are you from Vancouver, from, from out of town? In the comments, please let me know where you're from. It's a beautiful day today again in Vancouver. Some of you maybe got a chance to go out and play. I sure did with my son. We played uh, many games and we had a blast. Uh, so there's always uh, room to play out uh, with loved ones. And I hope you did that today. Well, uh, I wanted to talk today about how I'm sure some of you are really feeling that chronic stress, that, that tiredness that comes with being in that state. I sure felt it yesterday. And uh, some of you are really feeling a little burnt out by all the information, all the stimulus, the worry, the financial stresses, the health concerns, the concerns of uh, loved ones, the concerns of uh, the futures, the worries of the futures, all that stress really starts to take a toll on our system, on our nervous system, and in particular, uh, hormones that deal with stress and fear, <clears throat> which are your kidneys. The kidneys, uh, the organs and the adrenals, uh, the glands that sit on top of them. So some of you might even be experiencing some lower back pain, a lower back achiness or a tired lower back. If you are, please uh, let me know in the comments. So are you been feeling tired? Are you been feeling kind of burnt out by all of this? <laughs> are you starting to feel your lower back? Uh, maybe even the knees, maybe even the feet and the ankles. Because that's what fear does. Fear contracts, stress that comes with that emotion contracts. <clears throat> and internally, our system adjusts and starts to overwork. And we really start to feel it after some time in our lower back. So I've seen, uh, I think the second most common reason why people go to a doctor is a lower back issue. First one, I think, is the common cold. So lower back problems is, is a huge uh, phenomenon. <laughs> and many of us will have it at one point or another a back issue. But a lot of the time in my clinical experience of doing mind and body work for the last 20 years, most lower, chronic lower back issues have to do again with emotional and mental stress and most lower back symptoms even though people feel them in the lower back and in, in the muscles per se a lot of the times the stress on your kidneys and, and the adrenals so the source of the pain is internal it's not external necessarily that's why lower chronic lower back problems are really hard to treat and, and they're hard to treat because often they're not uh, really seen with with that in a way mindset that there could be an internal issue here it could be really related to, to your the organs not the muscles and it's usually the organs and the nerves that affect your lower back and really make us tired. You know, once your kidneys and adrenals are pumping so hard, if you're finding also that you uh, urinate infrequently recently, uh, you have urgency, especially with urination. Uh, and again, that's uh, a symptom uh, and information that your kidneys are working really hard right now. So I'm going to take you through an experience where we're going to start to nourish the kidneys and adrenals. 
And what I want you to do is to sit back. Sit back and get comfortable. And I chose this shirt because I want you to visualize this color through this exercise, okay? I want you to visualize this color that I'm wearing <clears throat> through this exercise, and I'll guide you through it. But first, if you can get comfortable and sit back and really feel your lower back against the chair, the back of the chair, really feel your feet rounded on the floor, and uh, just start to breathe first. And take a slow inhalation and a slow exhalation and breathe right to the belly, to, uh, if you can, to the lower aspect of your belly. And out. In. And out. In. And out, good, in, and out, in, and out, good, keep breathing like that, and as you breathe in, in and out, I want you to feel at the bottom of your foot where your arch meets the pads of the feet right at the center of your foot again where the arch meets the pad of the feet i want you to visualize and feel as if the floor and your foot creating a suction effect so again close your eyes concentrate on your breath and i want you to visualize that suction effect between the floor and the foot right at that focal point where the arch meets the pads okay right at the center there so visualize the focal point and feel again a suction being created by the floor and your foot okay and breathe into your feet and out. Yeah, really concentrate on the feet. Close your eyes. Keep breathing. And try and feel again that suction that happens where your foot meets the floor. And as you breathe, I want you to choose this color I'm wearing. And I want you to imagine with the breath in. That suddenly that color starts to permeate through the floor, through your foot, and up moving towards your leg. Okay, so keep breathing. In and out. In and out. And again, this blue color permeating through the floor, through the feet, and up the leg. And keep breathing. Good. Keep your eyes closed. And out. In. And out. And as you breathe in, in and out, just listen to my voice. I'll take you through it. Again, really feel your feet rooted and a blue color, this blue light, a blue water. Moving through the foot, up the leg, up the back of the leg. Keep breathing in and up. Yeah, really visualize that through the foot and up the back of the leg as if you're trying to push this blue light or blue water through the foot and up the leg with the inhalation and up. Good. In. And out. Yeah, keep breathing like that. In and out. 
And I want you to visualize that light moving higher and higher as you breathe in, up the leg, up the back of the calf, up the back of the hamstring, maybe even the back of the hips. Keep breathing. Into your lower back, into where your kidneys are, in your lower back. Okay, keep breathing in. And now keep your eyes closed, keep visualizing, keep feeling your feet rooted and bringing that energy, that light, that color, whatever you want to imagine, through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the hips, to your lower back. And you might start to feel sensations like warmth or tingling. Keep moving it through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the hips, through your sacrum, your tailbone, up into your spine and to where the kidneys are in your lower back. Good. And in. And out. And bring that color in again with every inhalation. And move it. Up through the back of the legs through the hips, through your sacrum, through the spine, and up to your lower back to the kidneys and the adrenals. And bring that color and that breath in. Hmm. Up through the legs, through the feet, through the legs, back of the legs. You might even feel it in your bones. Moving on through the leg bones through your sacrum bones, through your joints. Again, to your lower back, to the kidneys. Feel the light there being nourishing to the kidneys. Again, you can visualize light, water, and feel your adrenals being nourished, like filling up your batteries. And again, through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the hips, through your lower back, into the kidneys. If you are a cable charging energy right to your kidneys, through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the hips, to your spine, to your kidneys, charging them up. And use the blue light, blue energy, whatever you want to visualize through the foot, through the back of the legs, through the hips, through the sacrum, through the spine, and into your kidneys and adrenals, nourishing them. You might start to feel, again, a warmth sensation, a warming sensation in your lower back, and just keep doing that. Through the feet, drawing that energy from the ground through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the hips, through the sacrum, through the bone, through the joints, the spine, and into the adrenals and the kidneys, nourishing that light. Yeah. Yeah, just keep doing that. Good, you're doing great. Through the feet through the legs, through the hips, through your sacrum, your joints, the spine, and into the kidneys and the adrenals. Nourish the kidneys. See them, feel them nourishing with this blue light. Just like batteries filling up. You might have been empty. You've seen the battery level increase, the like capacity in your kidneys and adrenals increasing. You might feel the warmth around the lower back, inside your body. You might even feel it now in the lower abdomen as you're warming the back, your lower abdomen will warm up too. So keep bringing that in. Through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the sacrum, through the joints, through the hips, through the spine, and into the kidneys and adrenals. Good. Yeah, just keep doing that through the feet, through the legs, 
to the hips, sacrum, joints, spine, kidneys, and adrenals. Yeah, really feel the warmth in there. Feel your capacity increasing. Feel You might even feel the warmth in the abdomen. Just keep doing that until you start to feel really nourished. And if it helps, bring your hands right to where the kidneys are. The kidneys are right in the lower back, tracing your flowing ribs, and this is where your kidneys are. So you can bring your hands in there too. You can rub your lower back if you want to. But keep bringing that light in through the feet, through the back of the legs, through the hips, through the sacrum, through the joints, right into the adrenals and kidneys. Until you feel nourished, until you feel energized. So that's a, a beautiful little meditation and exercise that you can do a visualization where you, all you need to do is just sit, choose a blue color. You can use this color or a different blue that you like. And just use this exercise whenever you need to fill your batteries up. Yeah, because we're going to need your batteries full to go through this pandemic. So this is a simple but beautiful and effective technique. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, again, give me thumbs up. Give me hearts. Say something in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Reach out if you need help. And uh, God bless you. I love you. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you again.